roofing systems. The batten cap system has been used as long as zinc has been fitted. This system can be seen on many roofs in Paris and basically consists of a U-panel fixed against battens typically 40 mm high. A zinc cap batten is then fitted over the timber. This is Bersham Church near Chester. Wallace collection with ornamental pre-weathered light grey profile connecting the zinc batten cap to the slate roofing and traditional mansard south of France. Lord's Cricket Ground. The canopy at the top of the pavilion is a light grey pre-weathered zinc batten cap roof and Poundbury where zinc was used to create the roofing panels and a number of ornaments. Not only can zinc be stamped, spun and soldered, but its light weight of approximately 7 kg per square metre compared to lead at 30 kg per square metre makes structures smaller and theft less likely. Standing seam panels have a 25 mm high seam and no timber batten. The panels are very flexible, with nearly all shaped roofs possible in this system. The top photo shows the protective film. All pre-weathered zinc is supplied with protective film, which should only be removed once the roof is complete. The film can remain in place for up to two months, 60 days, but must not be partially removed. Four Seasons Hotel by Eric Parry Architects Combining standing seam roofing in light and dark pre-weathered zinc. Berkshire House in mineral pigmented brown zinc. Brixton Barrel Vault and Dormer Windows all of these projects show the geometrical flexibility of zinc and in particular standing seam zinc roofing panels. All of the associated flashings are made from the same respective material. Some of the more complex roof shapes which are achievable with zinc. Zinc, as all metals, expands and contracts depending on the temperature of the metal, not necessarily the air. The metal must be allowed to move. The thermal expansion coefficient of zinc, 0.022 mm per degree centigrade per meter, which equates to almost 25 mm of movement on a 13 meter panel. It is for this reason that the maximum panel length is 13 meters. The minimum slope as built is 3 degrees, but for steeper roofs, panel length should be reduced. Flashing options with zinc. The photo on the left shows the discrete saddle piece that is used to form an upstand. Hanging gutters and internal boxed gutters are both options, middle and right. Internal box gutters must allow for thermal expansion. Recessed options for roof lights. Brook Green Pavilion, De Rose Saar Architects and a cottage renovation in Yorkshire. Options for roof lights, either standard or recessed. For low slope roofs under 14 degrees, the junctions behind the roof lights must be soldered. The traditional standing seam is not an industrial looking seam. The seams are only 25 mm high and 5 mm wide. Single lock is not recommended for roofing. A specialist job with specialist tools. We always recommend recognised installers. Zinc, copper and stainless steel should not be installed by a general builder. A specialist job with specialist tools, including profilers, which transform a coil into a standing seam panel. Most standing seam roofing projects can use 600mm wide panels. For exposed sites it may be necessary to use 430mm wide panels in 0.8mm thickness. Thicknesses and widths shown are standard, but all coils are 70 mm wider than the centre to centre of the standing seam panel. Approximate weight of an installed standing seam panel is 7 kg per square metre. Panels are fitted with five one-piece fixed clips at the top and then two-piece sliding clips towards the eaves that allow thermal movement. Installing in this fashion allows standing seam zinc panels to be used in almost all of the world's environments. The minimum slope as built is always 3 degrees. As the zinc expansion rate is 0.022 mm per linear meter per degree centigrade, which is slightly less than aluminium and slightly more than copper, the eave plate must allow for this movement. With a warm, non-vented barrel roof with a continuous panel, expansion towards both eaves with a fixed point is in the middle.
The right flashing must be used for right detail, but sometimes different options are available. The G3 ridge offers a low profile ridge. The photo and detail on the left shows a traditional ridge with an upstand. The photo on the right shows a batten cap hip flashing. Build-ups A cold vented roof must have an air inlet at the base and an air outlet at the ridge, minimum 10 mm open. A 50 mm deep continuous cavity between the back of the substrate and the insulation. A larger cavity is fine, but not a smaller one. Plywood often uses slightly acidic glues, and during damp conditions these can get trapped between the zinc and the plywood. When a vented plywood deck is fitted, zinc with a 60 micron underside coating should be used. The coating on this zinc protects the backside of the zinc from the non-compatible support. Vented open gap softwood boards are the traditional substrate for metal roofing, including zinc. For this substrate, non-coated zinc can be used. A non-vented warm roof must have a fully supported continuous aluminium foil bitumen backed vapour barrier, self-sealing. A continuous layer of rigid insulation above the vapour barrier, reducing thermal bridges. In the UK, this means that the roof structure is entirely below the insulation. The structural roof has a BBA certificate and can be used with both PIR and mineral board insulation. Bearing plates and pegs greatly reduce thermal bridges, thus further enhancing the system. The fully supported aluminium foil bitumen backed vapour barrier is below the insulation and the breather membrane above. Engineered panels that combine exterior grade 18mm plywood and PIR insulations can be used as a substrate. Site-made solutions where plywood is laid over insulation, often with gaps, are not acceptable. The use of the correct breather membrane and vapour barrier remain critical. The use of cellular glass vapour closed is the only option for level 5 humidity buildings such as swimming pools and breweries as there are no mechanical fixings that penetrate the insulation. The clips for the standing seam panels are fixed into plates which are sealed into the cellular glass insulation. Insulated metal panels can be used as a substrate. This is a cost-effective warm roof solution for simple large roofs, but the outer skin of the metal panel must be at least 0.7 mm thick galvanized steel. Six roof build-ups are available. Please contact us if you wish to deviate from any of these build-ups. Zinc is a material that will last for decades and looks beautiful, but it is critical to follow the correct roof build-ups. For example, a vented roof that has been filled with insulation is not a warm roof that will function.